Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of sensible soccer on the Atari ST. Now I had this back in the day on my Commodore Amiga, and it was an amazing game. Still one of my favourite football games to this day, until Sensible World of Soccer come along. You know, that just extended, um, basically Sensible Soccer, same sort of game, same game engine and all that. It just added a little bit more to it. Uh, but I really enjoyed playing this game with my mates. Um, I didn't really enjoy playing it on my own, mind you, but it was one of them games that I really enjoyed playing with my mates. It was brilliant. Played, played this on a Saturday night. Everyone used to come around. Lots of beer. I <laughs> remember that. Uh, it was great times. Great times. But I see how it plays on the Atari ST. Now I have reviewed this on a few different 16-bit systems, so it's fitting to see what it plays like on the Atari ST. Hang on, let me swap the disc. Okay, it's a two-disc game, just like the Amiga, so I'm I'm expecting it to be pretty similar. Yeah, version 1.1 was the version I had. I think it was just uh, something with the goalkeeper or something. They fixed a bug with it or something like that. What I'm led to believe. Obviously, I'm going to pick English. Now, just for the sake, this is a review. So, I just basically want to see how it plays. So, I'm just going to put it on friendly. As you can see, there's loads of different um, player, player options there. You can have one or two players. Or you can have multiple players. You can have as many players as you want. As many teams there are on this um, game. So you don't have to have two players, but you can only play two players at a time. For obvious, 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 obviously, obvious, oh, fucking hell, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I got that out at the end, didn't I? Fucking hell, that was a chore. Wow. Obvious reasons. Yeah, obviously, two players can only play at once. Yeah. But that's fine. And if you want, you can even add computer players as well. And that's what we did. It must have been about four five six of us at time possibly seven of us at sometimes and you know we sometimes added a few computer players just to spice things up a bit we put the shitty ones on of course but even though it, it was just brilliant so just for review purposes i'm just going to put it on friendly pitch type normal so you can choose dry hard random let's do a random why not uh choose friendly match teams right now I don't wish to pick I will pick England but even though they were pretty shit at this time so I think what it does I think this is modelled on the 1992 European Championships um, I don't know if England was England in it I can't remember that now um, I think that was the one when Denmark won it, didn't I? I think Denmark won the cup, European Cup. Was it Denmark? Um, so let's play, I don't know, Malta. So if it's on red in CSC, that means computer. Blue highlighted means player. So I mean, I can play two player. Obviously, I have to play, pick a team, so we're going to put that on computer. So let's play the match. So now you can choose um, what play, what players you want uh, um, want to play with. <laughs> that didn't come out right, did it? What you want to play football with? Um, so we've got yeah, a few names there that I recognise. Um, now I'm not a football fanatic. Um, as a sport or more a racing person um, but you can change your formation if you want so we'll keep it all um, let's view opponent because you can do that so they got it on 442 okay because I'm playing Malta so let's just play the game I'm expecting it to be like the Amiga version it looks like presentation and all this looks like similar to the Amiga version so yeah, graphics look pretty much the same as all the versions I played, actually. So I think it got ported to a, a lot of different 16-bit uh, systems. Right, so we're the see ones in the white one. Oh, shit! 
All right, we don't want to watch a replay. Yeah, they caught me off guard there. Ah, oh, I keep losing. You see, mind you, it was like that in the Amiga version. You can lose the ball easy. And I'm not playing this with the right controller. I'll say this for a fact now, because I was used to playing with joystick. And I'm playing with a gamepad. Not the way to play sensible soccer. But if you, had, if you was playing it on a console, you've got no choice. Just got to get used to it, I guess. Ah. But it looks alright on the ST. I'm, I ain't got no complaints. Sounds alright. Oh, fucking hell. Don't get the ball! Now, I think this is the only sensible soccer game that did come out on the ST. There was no sensible world of soccer. And I've got and I've fouled. I've got a yellow card. Which is a shame, really. But now, there was always a debate on the Amiga. What was the best football game? Was it this or was it Kickoff 2? Me, I always say Sensible Soccer. Oh, me and my mates always warmed to Sensible Soccer more than Kickoff 2. We didn't play Kickoff 2 that much or hardly at all. I don't think none of us really liked it. No way as much as Sensible Soccer. That's just us. People out there might obviously prefer um, Kickoff 2. Well, that's the Amiga community. Don't know what it was like with the ST community. What, was, what, what did you prefer? Did, did it even come out on the ST? Possibly it did. I think there was three kickoff games on the Amiga. The third one was more isometric. Right, so that's the first half. So we're only going to play um, one game of this, like I did with the, all the other reviews I've done. It's just to see how it plays. I'm not going to. It's not an in-depth review. Never. These things never are. But it's my first impression. I think, yeah, it's a good version on the ST. I'm say this was my favourite football game on the Amiga. Oh no! No! Can't go 2 nil down. It's bad enough going 1 nil. down. Ah, fuck! Yeah, I'm very rusty at this game. I'm using the wrong controller. Yep, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Oh, that should be a... Oh, I thought that would be a corner kick for me. Ah, oh, come on. Let's get in it. Ah, shit. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh, come on. Ah, oh, you bastards. Yeah, I ain't going to get... Get back from this. Now you can adjust your time. You can go into the options. You can tweak the game to how you want it. Yeah, this is why I preferred playing with my mates. I was never no good. Even on the Amiga version, I wasn't much good at this on my own. So this is a game. It's more of a one that you, I played with my mates. This was a social game for me. It was. It was rare that I played this on my own because I was absolutely crap on my own. At least with my mates, we could all. We all had a laugh playing it. That's what it was all about. It was just having a laugh. Like we all did back in the day. We all had a laugh. Weren't to be taken seriously. It's only a fucking computer game. Oh, can I at least score a goal? No. 2-0 uh, on that one. 2-0 <laughs> down. That was still bad enough. But, yeah, it's still a... Um, it's a good version. It is a good version. I can't say nothing bad about Sensible Soccer, in fact, <laughs> on any of the systems I've played it on, actually. Obviously, my biggest nostalgia will always be the Amiga version, because um, obviously I owned an Amiga back in the day. Actually, I owned two Amigas back in the day, Amiga 500 and an Amiga 1200, which this game ran on both, which is always a good thing if it runs on both Amigas types. Um, yeah, 
ST version, still good. Graphics do the job, you know. Yeah, it's a good version. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.